watching The 7 from WATE 6 on your side. Good evening, I'm Lori Tucker in for Bo Williams tonight and welcome to The 7. Let's get a look at the Big 7 stories right now. Topping the list, our first Big 7 story is something that can affect all of us. Chemicals in our drinking water. Well, there are chemicals in your water, but KUB says not to worry. The Environmental Working Group found nine contaminants exceeded its health guidelines in KUB water samples. But that does not exceed the level set by the Environmental Protection Agency. There is nothing in the report that we do not report to our customers in our annual water quality report. The way that our um, requirements for drinking water are established, they use science-based research to make sure that there's really a need there for a limit, that there's truly a health concern. The EPA has recognized there is a cancer risk with some of these contaminants over a lifetime, depending on how much of the chemicals you're exposed to. But KUB wants customers to know they're going above and beyond to keep them safe. Now, we did reach out to the EPA, and they assure the public their regulations address more than 90 contaminants and contaminant groups. We'll post their entire website uh, statement on WATE.com, along with a link to the Environmental Working Group study and the KUB Water Quality report from this past year. Again, it's all on WATE.com. Our next Big 7 story takes us to a business fire we've been covering for much of the afternoon in uh, Maribel. A Knoxville Fire Department spokesperson tells us the owner of Dave's Wholesale Transmissions was sent to the hospital with burns to his arms, neck, and face after a small explosion there. You see the video here. We're told that explosion sparked a two-alarm fire. Now, right now, we have no word on what caused that explosion, but we do know nearly 20 cars were damaged. Knoxville police say sections of Maribel Pike are closed until 8 o'clock tonight as KFD continues to work that fire, putting out any hot spots. They're asking you, of course, to avoid that area. In our next Big 7 story, a man was killed after being crushed by a Knox County Rescue Squad truck. An accident report from the Knox County Sheriff's Office tells us firefighters have been called out to a wreck right along North Shore near Kensington Drive. It happened early Sunday. The victim was sitting on the roadside and an empty truck rolled over him. According to the report, the driver of the truck put it in neutral and activated the parking brake. He says he wasn't able to get back into the cab in time to stop it. The victim died at the hospital. Now a Big 7 story on a local man we've been following for more than a year. This is Matthew Heath. He's a Union County native, a U.S. Marines veteran. He remains imprisoned in Venezuela. His trial is set to begin tomorrow. He was arrested in South America, accused of being a terrorist and a spy for former President Donald Trump. Congressman Chuck Fleischman's office tells us Heath suffered an eye and hand injury in prison, and his family is concerned. We're told Fleischman's office is working with congressional and administration partners to bring Matthew Heath home. We will continue to bring you updates on his trial as it gets underway tomorrow. Our next Big 7 story is something really close to our hearts. Today, community, state, and national leaders broke ground on what will be a bridge connecting Gibbs High to the middle and elementary schools. And the bridge is dedicated to our local hero, Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss. As you know, he attended Gibbs High before serving in Afghanistan. He was killed during the U.S. withdrawal in a terrorist attack at the Kabul airport. Congressman Tim Burchett says Staff Sergeant Knauss must always be remembered. And this pedestrian bridge will ensure that. The bridge named after him is a fitting memorial, and he had a passion for helping others. He died in Afghanistan helping others. He died doing what he loved to do. Sergeant Knauss' mother was there for today's dedication. Thanks to him and the new bridge, Gibbs students will be given extra protection when they cross Taswell Pike to go between the three schools. Our next Big 7 story, another step in the debate over a multi-use stadium for Knoxville's Old City. Right now, City Council and County Commission members are holding a joint work session. They're looking at some new documents that make up the agreements to move forward on the project. After this, the next steps include votes by city and county leaders, plus the Sports Authority Board in the next week or so. One of the agreements will give the Sports Authority permission to get bonds for funding and really oversee development of the stadium. 
Today, labor groups, including the Knoxville Construction and Building Trades Council, urge City Council to wait on next week's vote until an agreement is in place on worker pay, safety, and other issues. WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown is at the workshop right now. She'll have a progress report for us coming up tonight at 11. Well, this morning, Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon posted a video on Twitter saying she supports the public stadium idea, citing an estimated $480 million economic impact over 30 years. She calls it a huge win for the entire community. And for our last Big 7 story, we are on your side with pipe safety. It is that time as temperatures are getting colder, plumbers are working round the clock to make sure their customers are ready for winter. As we start to get close to freezing temperatures, expanding water can cause your pipes to break. That's why homeowners should be taking precautions now to avoid problems later. When you get to cold weather, preparing your plumbing for cold, you want to make sure everything's well insulated. Um, you don't have exposed piping run outside in a place where it could freeze. Even things that like um, crawl spakes or crawl spaces or attics are common spaces where they're just not in, uh, insulated properly. Well, we also learned adding insulation to areas like basements and crawl spaces will help maintain higher temperatures in these areas where pipes are usually located. A lot of protection there.